Hi, this is Dave. Um, there have been a bunch of questions about how to actually adjust the Guidler adjustment uh, filament anti-squish thingamabob in the new afterburner extruder. So uh, I wanted to put something out to uh, just show everybody how to do that. So this is a freshly assembled stealth burner. Everything's stock. Uh, I'm going to tighten down the spring pretty tight good and tight this is bottomed out you don't have to bottom it out as long as it's good and tight i'm going to go ahead and clip that in place and then with this particular gear set you can see that if that's all tightened up you can hear that's binding up those gears are binding up so what the anti-squish thingamabobber does is i'm going to come in here and you guys can hopefully see i'm getting in that screw what it does, and if you look carefully at the gap here, as I back this off a little bit, it pulls that guidler arm out just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to start back from all the way in. I'm going to feel as I back off, right, as I unscrew counterclockwise. Hopefully I can actually get counterclockwise. I'm going to feel that start to loosen up, okay? What I'm looking for is I just want to back it off just barely to where I don't have any more grinding, to where it moves smoothly, okay? And as soon as I'm there to where it's moving smoothly with no binding, that's where the guidler adjustment is just right. Okay, now my tension's off, right? Now, saying what the filament tension should be is probably fairly contentious, but I'll show you how I set it. So I take a piece of scrap filament, clamp it in. I'm gonna, oops, I missed a step. Back this off. Back that off all the way. Clamp it back in. Now I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna probably back it off all the way. I'm gonna hold that extruder gear, or that 50 tooth gear. Now here I can still pull it in and out pretty easily. So I'm gonna start tightening it down a little bit, moving to a fresh piece. Still slipping a little bit. <clears throat> still a little bit loose. So I'm gonna give it one more full turn, but right there, I can pull it out but it's still in there pretty darn good. So uh, that's about where I adjust it. But again, that's uh, just a quick overview of how to adjust that anti-squish thingamabobber and, uh, and how to adjust my filament tension when you're putting together a new stealth burner.